Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Gainful. Today we will be covering the news from 6th of May till 12th of May. Let's get started. Who became the youngest player to hit a half century in this season of IPL? Who has been honoured with this year's Order of St. George's Award? International Day of the Midwives was observed on which day of May? International No Diet Day was observed on which day? On 6th of May, which Indian Navy destroyer was decommissioned? Let's look at the answers. They're talking about Riyan Parag has become the youngest player to score an IPL half century. Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, the founder of the Art of Living, was presented with this year's Order of St. George Award, instituted as part of annual festival of Puthupalli St. George Orthodox Church at Puthupalli in Kottayam, Kerala. Each year since 1992, ICM, International Conference of Midwives, leads global recognition and celebration of the work of midwives on 5th of May. International No Diet Day is an annual celebration held on May of 6th. International No Diet Day intends to celebrate the body of all types and every size. INS Ranjit, a Rajput class destroyer, was decommissioned at a solemn grand ceremony at Naval Dockyard at Vishakhapatnam. Name the Indian Navy Fort Scorpion class submarine that is launched under Project 75. Recently, which Air Force has successfully used a laser weapon system called the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator Shield? Recently, which state government has instructed all the schools to ensure that the weight of a school bag would not exceed more than 10% of the child's weight? Under the FAME 2 plan, it is likely to achieve the reduction of how much percent of carbon emission by 2030? Which city became the first to refer to as Crypto City? In a boost to the Indian Navy underwater capabilities, INS Vela, a Scorpion class submarine, was rolled out in the waters in the presence of Defense Secretary production. The fourth submarine, or in the series of the sixth submarine, being built at Mazagon Dock Limited, Mumbai, under the Project 75. The US Air Force has launched this shield. Children weighed down by the school bags will finally get relief. The Karnataka government has issued the order directing all schools in the state, including government aided and unaided institutions, to ensure that the weight of the school bag is not more than 10% of the child's weight. The government's FAME 2 plan aims to achieve this 37% reduction in carbon emission by 2030. The tentative aim is to have 30% electric vehicle by 2030. The Malacca city, the capital of Malaysian state of Malacca, has reportedly become one of the world's first region that's being referred to as crypto city. Which Indian origin journalist in South Africa has been honored in the UK with 2019 VK Krishna Menon Award? Castor Semnia of South Africa is associated with which sports? Stevo Penderovsky became the president of which country? Which country has invited India for the G7 industrialized nation meet this year? Where was the IBSA, that's India, Brazil, South Africa, Sherpas meeting held? G.D. Robert Govender, an Indian origin journalist in South Africa, has been honored with the UK 2019 VK Krishna Menon Award. In 2018, IAAF dictated that female runners with naturally occurring high testosterone levels and specific differences of sex development must lower their testosterone in order to compete in the event ranging from 400 meter to 1 mile. Two-time Olympic champion Castor Semnia of South Africa challenged this policy. Yeah, so definitely we are talking her as an athlete here. On May 1st, in a blow to Semnia and an untold number of other women, the Court of Arbitration for Sports upheld the regulation. Stevo Pendrovsky, supported by the ruling Social Democrats, have has won the North Macedonian presidency in a runoff vote. India will be attending the Group of Seven Industrialized Nation Meet organized by France in Biarritz in August along with Australia, Chile and South Africa in a sign of the recognition of India's growing economic heft in international area. The IPSA 
India Brazil South Africa Sherpas meeting following the 9th IPSA trilateral ministerial meeting was held in Cochin. Krishna Panda, who died at the age of 97, was a veteran. What? S. Krishnan, who died at the age of 74, was former editor of which, which newspaper or magazine? Bandana Nepal, the 18 year old girl, has set a Guinness uh, world records in what? Which body has mandated that an organ could be alloc allocated to a foreign national only after it gives its approval? Which tech company has unveiled the Azure blockchain services? Let's look at the answer. The veteran CPI leader and former Lok Sabha member Duti Krishna Panda died at the age of 97. S. Krishnan, the Hindu's former sports editor, has passed away. A Nepali teenager danced continuously for 126 hours to set a Guinness Book of World Records for longest dancing marathon by an individual, a feat previously held by an Indian. Prime Minister K. P. Sharma Oli honored the 18-year-old girl Bandana Nepal for achieving the feat. The National Organ and Tissue Transplant Organization, NOTO, an apex body that coordinates with the state on the procurement and distribution of organs and compliance with transplantation of Human Organ Act, has mandated an organ could be allocated to a foreign national only after it gets its approval. In last one year, the number of Indian patients receiving organ from brain dead donors has gone up to 56% in Tamil Nadu. So there is something wrong. Maybe the brain dead patient there kind of uh, making them pass away easily so that their organs can be then given to the people in need. So, but but yeah, something is fishy and hence. This organization has come in and uh, made this rule. The number of lungs transplanted on Indians went up from 43 in 2017 to 84 in 2018. Yeah. Joining the blockchain brand wagon, Microsoft has unveiled a full managed Azure blockchain service that would simplify the formation, management and governance so that businesses can focus on workflow logic and application development. The RBI has directed banks to enhance the housing loan limit for eligibility under PSL to how much lack in metropolitan centers. Recently, FIFA has announced the Dash new category of award to promote women's football across the globe. The World Athletics Day was observed on which day of May? World Asthma Day was observed on which day? Which country is in talks with India to build a state-of-art aircraft carrier named INS Vishal. Reserve Bank of India has directed banks to enhance the housing loan limits for eligibility under PSL that's private sector lending to 35 lakh in metropolitan centers. Federation International the Football Association FIFA announced two new award categories to promote women's football across the globe. The two new award categories are uh, are of Women's Goalkeeper of the Year Award and Women's Team of the Year Award will be given out in 11 categories. FIFA Headquarters, Zurich, Switzerland. The World Athletic Day is commemorated annually on 7th of May in order to give importance to sports among youth. May 7th is observed also as World's Asthma Day. The United Kingdom is in talk with the Indian government on building a new state of art Aircraft carrier along the lines of Britain's HMS Queen Elizabeth as part of ongoing Make in India negotiation for buying designs of 65,000 ton British warship to build a so-called cop copycat supercarrier to be named INS Vishal in 2022. India along with which country is going to produce a feature film on the life and works of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman? Name the Indian who are among 115 UN peacekeeper and staff honored by United Nations. Recently, which sportsman has been honored with Presidential Medal of Freedom, US highest civilian honor by the President Donald Trump, who has published the report titled India Inbound Tourism Unlocking the Opportunity? Recently, which cricket team opening batsman has added a record 365 runs for the first wicket in ODI? A film on the life and work of Bangabandhu Sheikh Muzabir Rahman to be jointly produced by India and Bangladesh will be directed by acclaimed filmmaker Sham Benegal. An Indian police officer Jitendra Kumar deployed to the UN mission in Congo and the consultant Shikha Garg with UN Development Programme 
was killed in Ethiopian airline plane crash around 115 US peacekeeper and staff honored by the global organization for their sacrifice. American golfer Tiger Woods was bestowed with Presidential Medal of Freedom, US highest civilian honor by President Donald Trump at Rose Garden. A new report by industry body Fiki says the strong economic growth coupled with the rapid emergence of India on the global horizon is poised to drive the growth of MIC, meeting incentive conferences and exhibition tourism at much faster rate. In 2018, MIC tourism in India was pegged at 25,000 crore with 8% growth year on year, said the report titled India Inbound Tourism Unlocking the Opportunity. The West Indies batsman, so this is the West Indian, John Campbell and Shai Hope recorded the highest ever opening partnership in one day international during a tri-series match against I Which state is going to declare the Indian purple frog Maveli as state amphibian? Border Road organization celebrated 59th raising day on which day? The meeting to strengthen economic cooperation and bilateral trade between India and US was held where? Public Health Department of Government of Maharashtra has signed an MOU with which organization to offer vocational program to health service provider of NHM. Laurentino Cortizo became the president of which country? The Indian purple frog Maveli is likely to be declared as Kerala's state amphibian. Border organization celebrated its 59th raising day on May 7th. India and United States have agreed to strengthen economic cooperation and bilateral trade by ensuring greater collaboration among stakeholders, including government, business, and entrepreneur. A bilateral trade meeting was held between the two countries in New Delhi. The National Institute of Open Schooling, Ministry of Human Resource Development, and National Health Mission of Public Health Department of Government of Maharashtra signed a memorandum of understanding in Mumbai. According to a press release, MOU focused at offering vocational program to health service provider of National Health Mission through National Institute of Open Schooling. The Panama Electoral Tribunal announced that Laurentino Cortizo has won the country's presidential election. Which insurance company has decided to observe the sixth day of every month as Protection Day? Justice P. R. Ramachandra Menon became the Chief Justice of which High Court? Basava Jayanti was celebrated in Karnataka on which day of May? Which company has decided to combine VSAT, very small aperture terminal satellite communication operation of huge communication India HCIL in India? The International Thalassemia Day observed every year on which day of May? Max Life Insurance Corporation Limited announced that it will dedicate 6th day of every calendar month as protection day towards driving awareness around concept of financial protection. Justice P. R. Ramachandra Menon, Swan N. S. Chief Justice of Chhattisgarh High Court. The local celebrated Basava Jayanti in Karnataka's Shivamoga on 7th of May. The Sunil Mittal led telecom major Bharti Airtel and Huge Communication India HCIL have decided to combine their VSAT, very small aperture terminal satellite communication operations in India. The International Thalassemia Day celebrated annually on 8th of May. The World Red Cross Day is observed every year on what day of May? Who has been elected as an observer to our Arctic Council? Who has been re-elected as a member of International Narcotics Control Board? ONGC recently after receiving the green signal from government will drill six development wells in which place at a cost of 240 crores? Under which initiative the KVIC has distributed more than 1 lakh B boxes among the farmers and unemployed youth across the country in less than two years? World Red Cross Day, also known as World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day, which is observed every year on May 8th, is a gentle nod to all volunteers who have made unparalleled contribution to the people in duress or need. India has been re-elected as an observer to the Intergovernmental Forum Arctic Council. In a significant victory, India's Jagjit Pawadia was re-elected as International Narcotics Control Board for another term. ONGC, which is India's biggest oil explorer and public sector major, has received green signal from government to drill six development wells in northeastern state of Assam at the cost of 240 crores. Khadi and Village Industry Commission, KVIC, has distributed more than 1 lakh 
B boxes among the farmers and unemployed youth across the country in less than two years under its Honey Mission initiative. This country has passed the Online Falsehood and Manipulation Act, a move to tackle the spread of online fake news. Professor N. R. Madhav Menon, who died at the age of 84 years, was associated with which field? According to the 2019 Global Assessment Report, how much percent of amphibian species are at risk of extinction? For the first time, the CSIR Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, Hyderabad, has conducted the genetic studies on the people of which place? Which tech company has launched Election Guard platform? Singapore's parliament passed the Protection from Online Falsehood and Manipulation Act, a move to tackle the spread of online fake news. Professor N. R. Madhavan Menon, a towering personality in modern Indian legal education, passed away in Thiruvananthapuram. He was 84. Madhavan Menon founded the National Law School of India in Bangalore, National University of Judicial Sciences in Kolkata, and National Judicial Academy in Bhopal. He was the first head of all these institutions. Great personality. The 2019 Global Assessment Report on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services by UN found that up to 1 million of Earth estimated 8 million plant, insect and animal species is at risk of extinction, many within decades. The threatened list include more than 40% of the amphibian species, almost 33% of the reef-forming corals and more than a third of all marine mammals. Genetic studies done on the people of Lakshadweep Island by a team led by Thangaraj at CSIR Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology for the first time have shown that a majority of human ancestry in Lakshadweep is largely derived from South Asia with minor influences from East and West Eurasia. The Microsoft Build Developer Conference CEO Satya Nadella announced Election Guard, a free open source software development kit from our Defending Democracy program. Petroleum Conservation Research Association has signed an MOU with which company to aid conservation of resources across the country. India has signed an MOU with ISC Food of which country in the field of egg production. Badenath Mishra, who died at the age of 99, was a renowned what? Renal Mukherjee, who passed at the age of 74 year, was what? Famous cricketer Seymour Nurse, who died at the age of 85, played for which country? Petroleum Conservation Research Association, PCRA, Metro Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Government of India and World Third, Largest Tractor Manufacturer by Volume, TAFE, Tractor and Farm Equipment Limited, signed an MOU to aid conservation of resources across the country. India has signed a Memorandum of uh, Understanding with Japan's largest egg producer, ISC Food, in a bid to improve the quality of eggs, waste management and disease diagnosis in poultry farms across the country. Renowned economist Baidyanath Mishra died of old age problem, he was 99. Veteran television and film actor Mrinal Mukherjee passed away. According to the report, he was 75 year old, was battling cancer for a long time. Former West Indies cricketer Seymour Nurse died when he was 85. The 158th birth anniversary of Ravinna Tagore was celebrated on which day? Recently, for the first time, which state police has deployed women commandos in the Naxalite area? Professor Kirpal Singh, who died at the age of 95 years, was a renowned what? Derek Sippy, who died at the age of 60 years, was associated with which sports? The Indian Army is commemorating this year as what? The 158th birth anniversary of Ravinna Tagore was celebrated on May 9th. The Chhattisgarh Police for the first time has inducted 30 women commandos in Dantewara of Bastar region to have deployed them in Malangir. A first of its kind platoon of women DRG commandos have been raised of the 30 recruits. 10 are surrendered women Naxals while 10 are the ass ass other assistant constable who are part of the erstwhile Salvajudum movement, Dantewara Superintendent of Police Abhishek Pallav told. Professor Kirpal Singh, the first chronicler of partition who started building an archive in 1954, passed away. He was 95 years old. Former in Billiards player, coach and administrator Derek Sippy died at the age of 60 years. The Indian Army is commemorating this year as the year of next of kin and plans to reach out to the next kin, uh, next of the kin of battle casualties, ex-servicemen and serving soldiers to inform them of entitled 
financial benefit, welfare scheme and help resolve pension related problems. Which company became the principal sponsor of Afghanistan cricket team for the upcoming ICC World Cup? This is a very interesting question. Name the first vaccine of Dengue. The International Food and Beverage Alliance has star targeted to eliminate industrially produced trans fat from the global food supply by which year? Name the Supreme Court retired judge who has been appointed as a member of Commonwealth Secretariat Arbitral Tribunal London. PM Modi ranked number what in terms of most followed politician in social media platform combined. Amul will be the principal sponsor of Afghanistan cricket team for the upcoming ICC World Cup hosted by England and Wales, Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation, GCMMF, which markets dairy product under the name Amul brand, exports around 200 crore worth of products annually to the neighboring country. FDA has approved the first vaccine for dengue, Dengvaxia, but placed significant restriction on its use because the vaccine has been shown to put some people at heightened risk for a severe form of the disease. WHO welcome the commitment by International Food and Beverage Alliance to align with WHO target to eliminate industrially produced trans fat from global food uh, supply by 2023. K.S. Radhakrishnan, former Supreme Court judge and has been appointed as the member of the Commonwealth Secretariat Arbitral Tribunal London. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has become second most followed politician in the world with a social media audience of 111 million on platform including Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. A study by online visibility management and content marketing SaaS platform SCM Rush said. Which airline became the first that has decided to send no onboard waste to landfill? Recently, India has signed a protocol with which country for the export of Indian chili meal? Which Indian institution has developed a microprocessor called Ajit? Which bank has collaborated with AI company Talocity for the touchless hiring services? Russia celebrated the 74th anniversary of the victory over Nazi Germany in World War II on which day of May? Qantas Australia has operated its first commercial flight that will send no onboard waste to landfill. India and China have signed a protocol for the export of Indian chili meal to China. Engineers from Indian Institute of Technology Bombay have developed a microprocessor called Ajit, the first to be conceptualized, designed, developed and manufactured in India. AI-based HR solution provided, Talocity would provide Yes Bank its AI-supported touchless technology for banks hiring process and human resource operation. The candidate are interviewed by an AI bot on one-way video platform and Talocity's machine learning and AI capabilities create personality report for each job applicant which tells Yes Bank about applicants relevance to the job. This is very interesting. Russia marks 74th anniversary of the victory over Nazi Germany in World War II on May 9th. Which bank has appointed Balachandran YV and Gokul Das Pai as its CEO and CBO respectively? Financially at 1819, bank credit grew by how much percent? Where was the second meeting of 15th Finance Commission held? Where has the BRO made a natural ice cafe? Which Indian actress has been appointed in the 17 global figure as the new advocates to drive action, solidify global political will for ambitious sustainable development goals? Karnataka Bank Limited has promoted two of its general managers, Balachandran YB and Gokul Das Pai as CEO and CBO. Bank credit grew 13.2% in financial year 2018-19 as compared to 103 in the previous financial year. The 15th Finance Commission held a two-day meeting with eminent economists, top executive of leading banks at RBI headquarters in Mumbai. India now has its own natural ice cafe built at the height of 14,000 feet above the sea level at Gaya village in Ladakh. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has appointed 17 global figures including Indian actress Dia Mirza and Alibaba chief Jack Ma as the new advocates to drive action and solidify global political will for ambitious sustainable development goals. Who among the following will be the coach of Indian men's football team who has been appointed as a new president of United Nations General Assembly? Which Indian Navy ship carried out group sail with naval ships of Japan, Philippines and USA? 
A fifth brown pit viper has been discovered by the team of herpetologists in the state which uh, state we are talking about. The election commission is going for repolling of 168 polling stations in which constituency of Tripura on May 12th. Former Croatia international and manager Ignor Stimak will be appointed as India's men team for coach after all India Football Federation technical committee recommended him for the post. Professor Tijani Mohammad Bande has been appointed as the new president of United Nations General Assembly. Bande becomes the second Nigerian to be appointed president of UNGA. This is General Assembly. Okay, don't don't confuse it. Two Indian Navy ship Kolkata and Shakti carried out group sail with naval ships of Japan, Philippines, and the USA in South China Sea from May 3rd to May 9th. India now has fifth brown pit viper with a reddish tinge. This was from the uh, forest in West Kemang district of Arunachal Pradesh. We are talking about a repolling at 168 polling station out of 1700 in the West Tripura Lok Sabha constituencies. Aruna 19 was a naval exercise between India and which country? Facebook has chosen which city as the center for the global rollout of WhatsApp Pay. For the first time, by which technique the scientist has treated a 17-year-old Isabel Carnell holdaway of England? Which Indian airport ranked in top 10 8th best in the survey conducted by Air Help? According to WHO, more than how many million people lost their lives every year due to the road accidents? The biggest Indo-French naval exercise at Varuna 19 concluded of Goa late with close-range maneuvers conducted by the car carrier's task force of both the navies. Facebook has chosen London as the center for global rollout of WhatsApp Pay before the social media giant launches the digital payment services on the mobile messaging platforms in India. Scientists successfully treated a patient's antibiotic resistant infection using genetically engineered virus for the first time. Very interesting case. Should, should read some detail about it. Hyderabad's Rajiv Gandhi International Airport has been ranked as the world's eighth best in the survey conducted by Air Health. Road accidents are the leading cause of death among people in 5 to 29 age group worldwide with more than 1.35 million lives lost each year and 50 million sustaining injuries according to WHO. Which of the following has unveiled the Blue Moon Lander? Which company has introduced the world's highest resolution image sensor with 64 megapixel for smartphones? Iran Holy Musa, who died at the age of 70 years, was a renowned what? Thopil Muhammad Miran, who died at the age of 74, was a noted what? Recently, which of the following countries has scrapped the post of PM? Amazon's CEO Jeff Bezos has announced Blue Origin's lunar landing project which will be capable of meeting Donald Trump's goal of populating the moon by 2024. Samsung Electronics Company introduced the world's highest resolution image sensor with 64 megapixel for smartphones to meet the growing demand for mobile devices with better image quality. Mappillapattu singer and Kerala Folklore Academy Vice Chairman Air and Holy Musa died at his residence in Gopalpet in Thalasseri. Noted novelist and Sahitya Academy Awardee Thopil Muhammad Miran also has died. Senegalese lawmakers approved a constitution reform to scrap the post of Prime Minister, the first initiative of President Macky Sall's second term in office. Which Indian company has acquired British toy company Hamley? With which country the Konkan Railways Corporation has signed a contract to supply two 1600 horsepower DEMU train set? Who became the new chairman of IFFCO? Which country became the second after Britain to declare a climate emergency? Recently, the central bank of which country has printed millions of currency notes of $50 denomination with a typographical error? Reliance Brands, a subsidiary of Mukesh Ambani-led Reliance Industry, has acquired British toy major Hamley for £68 million. Uh, Reliance disclosed in its regulatory filings. Konkan Railways Corporation has signed a contract agreement with Nepal Department of Railways to supply 1600 horsepower demo train sets. 
Cooperative Manager IFCO elected Balwinder Singh Nakai as its chairman and Dilip Sanghani as its vice chairman. Republic of Ireland has become the second country in the world to declare climate emergency. Millions of fifty dollar uh, Australian banknotes uh, in they were having some typographical error that was overlooked by the country's central bank before they were printed and circulated. This year's first World Migratory Day was observed on which day? National Technology Day 2019 was celebrated on which day? India's first global science exhibition, Vigyan Samagam, was held where? Recently, where was the first case of monkeypox virus reported? Which country has come up with the first of its kind strategy to prevent, detect and respond to threats from infectious diseases occurring naturally or accidentally? World Migratory Day is an annual global awareness raising campaign highlighting the need for conservation of migratory birds and their habitats. The day is celebrated on second Saturday in May and October. It happens two times. In 2019, this day would be celebrated on 11th May and 10th of October. The National Technology Day 2019 is celebrated annually on May 11th, the day on which India successfully test fired its first nuclear bombs in 1998. India's first global science exhibition, Vigyan Samagam, was held at Nehru Science Centre in Mumbai. Singapore has reported its first case of rare monkeypox virus brought in by a Nigerian man who authorities said may be infected by the bush meat he ate at a wedding. The United States government has come up with first of its kind strategy to prevent, detect and respond to threats from infectious disease occurring naturally or accidentally in an effort to help improve world's ability to stop contain deadly outbreaks before they spread between countries. Where will United Nations General Assembly hold its 2020 high-level conference? Y.C. Deveshwar, who died at the age of 72 years, served as the chairman of which company? Which organization has released a report titled Sand and Sustainability? Finding New Solution for Environmental Governance of Global Sand Resources. According to the latest study by the scientists of University of Montreal, only about how much of the world's longest rivers still flow freely along their entire length. Name the world's first exclusive women cricket magazine that was released in Jaipur. United Nations General Assembly decided to host this 2020 high-level conference early June in Portugal's Lisbon to support the sustainable use of ocean, sea and marine resources. YC Deveshwar, chairman of ITC Group, has passed away. He was 72, one of the India's longest serving corporate chief. YC Deveshwar took over as chairman of ITC Group in January 1996. The United Nations Environment Programme, UNEP, released a report, Sand and Sustainability, finding the new solution for environmental governance of global sand resources that highlights a problem that has largely stayed under the radar. Sand consumption globally has been increasing and we are extracting it at rates exceeding natural replenishment rates. Free-flowing rivers are an endangered species on earth. Only about a third of the world's longest rivers still flow freely along their entire path. Unchained by dam or reservoir, scientists report in May 9th, nature of the planet 246 rivers that are longer than 1000 km, only 37% still run free. The inaugural issue of World First Exclusive Women Cricket Magazine Crick Zone was released in Jaipur. Who is the winner of Tata PGTI Player Championship? National Dairy Development Board has developed a new genome assembly named NDDB ABRO Murra of which, which species we are talking about recently. Which country has tested the fastest ever bullet train that can reach up to 400 km per hour? Subhash Chand has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to which country? Neburu Narayan Hegde, who passed away at the age of 83, was a renowned what? The seasoned golfer Mukesh Kumar produced a spectacular and error free last round of 7 under 65 to win the Tata Steel PGTI Player Championship in Panchkula, Haryana. Dairy Organization, National Dairy Development Board announced developing a new genome assembly named NDDB ABRO Murra of riverine buffaloes. Japan has started testing its fastest ever bullet train syllable, capable of reaching 400 kilometers per hour as it continues to develop the revolutionary mode of travel. 
Shri Subhash Chand, presently Deputy High Commissioner in High Commission of India. Abuja has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to the state of Eritrea. Capital Asmara currently, uh, currency is Eritrean Nakfa. Noted Yash, Yaksh Ganga Bhagavatha singer Neburu Narayan Hegde passed away in Uttar Karnataka. He was who has been named the Premier League player of the season in the recent research on Bengal Tigers by United Nations by which year there will be no suitable tiger habitat remaining in Bangladesh Sundarbans. Where was the 14th meeting of conference of parties held from April 29 to May 10th? The 2019 Mother's Day was observed on which day? The International Nurse Day is observed on which day of May? Liverpool defender Virgil van Dijk has been named the Premier, player, Premier League Player of the Season. By doing so, he became the first defender to win the Player of the Season award in seven seasons after Manchester City's Vincent Company in 2011-12. Climate change is serious, we understand. It is assumed by 2070 there will be no suitable tiger habitat remaining in Bangladesh, Sundarbans. The 14th meeting of Conference of Parties was held in Geneva, Switzerland. Mother Day is celebrated on 8th of May to provide respect to the mothers. It is used to provide the mother to get every type of respect for their unbelievable work to the family as well as country. International Nurse Day all around the world is celebrated on 12th May is a day celebrated is to celebrate the irre irreplaceable contribution nursing makes to the world health and well-being and to commemorate the birth of Florence Nightingale the founder of modern nursing. The Dash International Art Exhibition of La Biennale de Venezia held in location throughout Venice Italy has been open for public who is the richest in the UK according to the Sunday Times rich list who is a winner of men's single Madrid Open 2019 title, which female spin bowler became the highest wicket taker in the ODI, which institution has developed a movement tracking system, Marco, which collects the health and behavior data after signal bounces of a human. The 58th International Art Exhibition of La Biennale di Venezia, held in locations throughout Venice, Italy will open to public from 11th of May. The Hinduza brothers ranked number one with a fortune of 22 billion pounds, followed by Mumbai born Rubin brothers in second place with 18.66 billion pounds. Top seed Novak Djokovic of Serbia beats Stefanos Tsitsipas of Greece to win his third Madrid Open title. Pakistan off spinner Sana Mir has become the most successful woman ODI spinner in history after she took after she took. Her 147th wicket, highest ever by an spinner in ODI cricket. MIT scientists have developed a movement tracking system called Marco based on wireless radio frequency signal which collects the health and behavior data after signal bounce of a human. The fifth UN Global Road Safety Week was observed from which day Padma Shri Awadi Hira Lal Yadav, who died at the age of 93 was a renowned what? Elsa Patton, who died at the age of 84, was a famous what? Piggy Lipton, who died at the age of 72, was what? Which Sri Lankan cricketer has been charged with two counts of breaching ICC anti-corruption code? The 5th United Nations Global Road Safety Week was held from 6th to 12th of May 2019. This week was focused on leadership for road safety. The ongoing campaign, Save Lives, Speak Up. Padma Shri Awadi, Bhojpuri folk singer Hira Lal Yadav, died at the age of 93. Real Housewives of Miami actor Elsa Patton passed away at the age of 84. The Mod Squad actor Peggy Lipton died at the age of 72. And the International Cricket Council has charged Sanat Jayasundra. This is not Jayasurya. This is a different guy. With two counts of breaching the ICC anti-corruption code. Mr. Jayasundra, a performance analyst at Sri Lanka Cricket, has been provisionally suspended with immediate effect. Okay, so with that, we conclude this week's Gainful. I'll again see you very soon with the next one. Thank you very much.